Hi everybody, Overlander Benny here. Today I'm going to do uh, show you guys my Rightline Gear SUV tent and uh, how we use it on our overlanding, what I like and dislike about it. And um, let's get started. Here's the tent in the bag. It's Rightline Gear SUV tent. You can see on this picture is on the back of a truck, and that is what we do. So I'm going to set it up, and we'll show you how that goes. Here's the tent, and I'm unrolling it right now. And you can see when I roll it up, I always put my rain fly and my stakes inside as I roll it up. This holds it together better, and goes in the bag better okay here I got it all spread out at this point they recommend that you stake the four corners down but I don't do that after a few times of doing this I found it's kind of hard to stake it right where you need to and then still have it perfect with the truck so I set it up and I slide it to where I want it on my truck which I'll show you, and then I will stake it down if necessary. One thing I dislike, the poles go in these little slots here, and they're long, and they constantly hang up on these when you're trying to push them through. So that is kind of a downfall of it. It does take a bit of time to set up, so I will uh, time it and show you a little more as I go. Okay, here I got the poles in. You can see they're just like a normal tent pole. And these little pieces right here are what I'm talking about that are constantly getting dragging in here and it makes it very difficult. You can see there's a center ridgeline pole and right here, it's hard to tell, but this is the center of the uh, outside pole. And it has a little bit of a bow in it. So my first step is I always try and get that as close to the center as I can on both sides. Because if you don't, you're going to fight it. You Next, you would take these poles, stand them up. The ends go in these little slots. And the ridge line pole will go through here and it sticks in here. Now, they recommend doing the sides first, and I'm short, so I do the center ridge line pole first. It just works better for me because I'm vertically challenged. Okay, now we're set up. The ridge line pole is extremely tight starting to rip there already it's been about 10 uses clip these little guys on again the pole goes right down in that little hole I will slide it forward try and get it around even with the back of my bumper where I kind of like it Straighten all my corners. And I like it. Now I take this. It's got a little bit of a elastic to it. The bottom one I go around my bumper a little bit. The top one I put over my canopy. And sometimes I go over the top of my panels. Depending on how far I moved the tent ahead. So I don't always get it the same. Inside, when we pack it away, we have this all zipped up and the door is zipped up. I'm gonna tell you this door on the down, I don't like it. I don't know why they didn't make it come off to the side, but when you unzip it, falls to the floor 
and then you step on it and everything else. I don't like that. I come under. Make sure I'm good and tucked in. Over the truck. Again, around the bumper. Come out here. There's these long straps. You can figure out what works best for you. I put them around my rack or my solar panels, depending on what works best at the moment. Snug it up. There's more straps here if you need it. We don't have any wind or anything like that, so I'm not too worried about it. We are kind of expecting some rain, so I probably will throw the rain fly on for the first time, just to be on the safe side. Never used it, so that will be new for me. As you can see, kind of goes over the top of my panels. Here and closed. Again, I will take this. I'll have to unwrap it. Up here, find something to hook on, maybe this bracket. Snug it up. If you would like, you could tag it and put it, or excuse me, you could peg it down. Make sure it's good. And a little bit off on this side, but that's okay. Probably need to come down. I like to take this piece across the top. Buckle it. Oops. Okay, it's buckled there. We can get a little tighter over on this side if I like. Maybe go around my solar shower or something. I'll do that in here in a minute. But that's it. You have couple of decent windows great big windows the door the back of the truck which I can now start unloading also one thing I noticed when I uh, load my truck I like to put my tent in the back so that it's the first thing out and I could put the stuff that I leave inside and my tent we don't sleep in the tent we sleep in the truck we have an air mattress that goes in there. Dog sleeps down here in the corner. There you have it. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like now. We're all set up. Everything's done. Our dog bed. We have a little step, step up in the back. A little bed, a couple of hooks to hold our bags on each side. Since it's a small area, we kind of crawl in there and got a couple of lights hooked up on the back. Tap lights, reflective. Curtains, pretty much. Uh, fire extinguisher. Solar generator to charge our stuff at night. My drone. Do you see anything else that you'd like to know more about? Let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Freestanding. We 
getting ready to leave so this is how I zip it up when I'm getting ready to pack it up but at the same time if you close the door you can have yourself a freestanding tent and this is the outside there's little latches on the bottom you can hook it all up so this doesn't flop around like and subscribe thank you